AI agents, architecture. What are AI agents and why do we need them? Here is a large language model. We send it a prompt and it responds. However, it cannot perform actions or in other words get things done and its knowledge is limited to what it was trained on in the past. Let's add an orchestrator or an agent in between so that we send our queries to the agent instead of LLM and add tools that can perform actions. Now our agent has access to both LLM and tools. LLM can do planning and reasoning while tools can perform actions. Tools can be of many types like those that can invoke APIs or fetch data from a data source and so on. For example, weather tool can be invoked over REST and its interface is defined by an open API schema. Similarly, a data source can be queried to extract necessary information. We also need memory to enhance the capability of the agent. So let's add that. Now our agent can remember things. We can use both short and long term memory here. We must have a way to instruct the agent. So let's add a prompt template, which is nothing but a bunch of instructions. That's our overall agent architecture. This should give you a good idea of key components that an agent works with. The central agent block can also be called as agent core or simply orchestrator. We will just call it agent for simplicity. Note that it is the advanced prompting techniques with instructions that enable LLMs to engage in planning, reflection and exhibit basic reasoning skills. Now we can answer this question. What is an AI agent? An AI agent is a system that can perceive its environment, collect data, make decisions and take actions. Remember that AI agents can perceive their environment through sensors such as cameras or microphones. A text prompt is not the only way for it to receive inputs. Now let's go over an agent workflow to understand how it functions. Here is a prompt template or instructions. You are a friendly agent that can answer questions about dates and current weather. If user asks about dates, use the calendar tool. If user asks about weather, use the weather tool. Ask user for additional information where necessary. Configuring instructions and list of available tools and their interfaces are part of agent setup process. The user prompt or query is what is the weather like right now? Note that there is no geographic location or city specified in this query and we will see how this is dealt with. At this point, agent prepares overall prompt using the instructions, user query and any additional information it deems necessary which is then sent to the large language model. LLM reasons and response that the weather tool must be used to get weather information and for that we need to know the city name because the weather tool interface expects that. It poses a question what is the city for which you want to know the weather and this question is posed to the user by the agent now. User responds with the city name Chicago. At this point, the agent may choose to store this information in memory. That is, user is interested in weather in Chicago and then it invokes the weather tool with city as the parameter. Note that the interface and protocol for invoking the tool was made available to the agent during its setup. The tool responds with temperature value of 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Response from the tool is received by the agent and it passes on this information to the LLM to formulate a response for the end user. LLM responds with, hi there, current weather in Chicago is pleasant 67 degrees Fahrenheit, which is typical for this time of the year. And this response is returned to the end user. So that was the overall agent flow. Note that 
In this process, LLM is not really aware that an orchestrator is using it as a part of a larger framework. It simply works with the instructions and prompts passed to it. Therefore, it is very important that agent is provided with clear instructions via the prompt template and list of available tools, their purpose and their interfaces. Agent will use all of this to orchestrate the flow. It is a good idea to provide the agent with examples. These are typical use cases for the agent to refer to. These examples could also serve as few short learning for LLMs. An agent can invoke other agents, so specialized agents can work in tandem towards a common goal. So what is the difference between automation and AI agents? Automation typically follows predefined rules, while AI agents can learn and adapt to their environment, making them more flexible and capable of handling complex tasks. Now, how do we implement an agent? You could write your own agents using frameworks like Langchain, which provide you with necessary building blocks to work with. Here you have a lot of freedom and control to define how the agent functions, or simply use services like Agents for Amazon Bedrock or Google Vertex AI Agents, where you provide prompt instructions information on actions or tools like their API interfaces and so on via a UI. That's it. Your agent is ready. Agents may invoke LLMs several times before it responds to the end user. It may do this for additional planning, reasoning or just to refine the response received from the LLM. Consider a case where the agent asks the LLM to write a short poem on happiness. Agent may ask the LLM to reflect on the poem it generated and revise it if necessary. In other words, orchestrator is in complete control over how the overall workflow functions. Let's take a quick look at some common types of AI agents. Simple reflex agent. These agents react directly to their environment without any internal state. Model based reflex agents. These agents have a model of their environment and can select actions based on the current state and the desired goal. Goal-based agents. These agents are aware of their goals and can select actions that are most likely to achieve those goals. Utility-based agents. These agents can assign values to different outcomes and select actions that will maximize their expected utility. Learning agents. These agents can learn from their experiences and improve their performance over time. So this brings us to the end of our discussion on AI agent architecture and workflow.